Right, I'm gonna give you this. Okay. Okay. And now, can you let your daddy work? Huh? Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the anatomy of a trip. In today's video, I'm taking you through my process of planning my annual September trip to the stunning Greek islands. If you're thinking about visiting Greece or you just love travel content, then stick around. Okay, full disclosure. Well, I wasn't sure there's was gonna be a trip this year. Between you and me, in years past, every time I had $50, I threw it in the bucket. Every time I had a credit card point, I sent it over to Emirates in my uh, Travel Point Emirates bank account. What that allowed is when September came, I had a nice little amount that I could do something. Translation, the U-Haul took the $50 and more, and anytime I had a credit card point, I sent it and paid off an Amazon purchase. So, I ran numbers and everything I looked at seemed ridiculously priced and very inconvenient. And between you and me, the whole world can't compete with my backyard, so I convinced myself I'm gonna skip a year. So cleaning the other day, this book is from 2014. It's the first time I took a trip by myself. Between you and me, I had to. There was a biblical, biblical exodus of friends, uh, plans that were made had fallen through, and I decided, well, I'll go by myself. It fundamentally turned into what I wanted to do, and it became the it became the template of future footsteps. Peros and Nexus, the the first two Greek islands that I I ever adventured to by myself. And ten years ago, I didn't have the process that I have now. When I accepted that I was going to travel by myself, I, I decided to buy a drone, which I had no experience with. But I just thought, well. I'll bring a hobby. This vlog didn't exist in 2014. I, I ran it all through Instagram, which allowed you 15 second videos. So I gave myself a purpose. I gave myself a hobby that I was traveling with a drone and I was a videographer, a photographer. Again, this this did not exist. You want, you want to look at the book? You want to look at the book? Your mommy was probably showing around right now, but you were not born yet. But the very last page of this book continues to be a reminder to myself, especially this year, because the last page is time well spent. I would catch myself saying, this is a vacation of a lifetime, which is finite. Eventually I would phrase it as, this is my new tradition. So this year is the 10 year anniversary of this trip. And when I began to entertain the idea of going back to this trip and do it with this version, with this equipment, and possibly arriving on this airline, man, a smile came across my face and that's how I knew I'm now on a good track. Welcome to Nexus, right? I've never been here before, so. I've actually never traveled to Europe by myself. It's very exciting. So what's the first step of securing the trip? The puppy sitter. And this year, Meatball's puppy sitter is available August 26th. I have to be back by September 12th. Okay, okay. That puts me in a little more premium time of August, but it's doable. August 26th, fly to Newark, arrive at 11.31 in the morning. I have a day room at the Hilton and I'll be there till 8 p.m. 11.58, I'm flying on Emirates. Hopefully here, not there. I arrive at 4.30 p.m. I have an hour and a half to clear customs, go back upstairs, check into a flight, go through TSA, and then fly to Peros. Peros is a beautiful island in the Cyclades group of the Greek islands, known for its charming villages, stunning beaches, and vibrant nightlife. It's part of the Cyclades Islands in the Aegean Sea and conveniently located with an airport, making it an easy hop from Athens. August 27th through August 30th, I'll be on the island of Peros. I'm staying at the Amos Luxury Suites. Next, I'll ferry to Naxos for five days. Naxos is another gem of the Cyclades Islands. Stunning beaches, rich history, and a vibrant local culture. 
The ferry ride from Paros to Naxos is relatively short, 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how the ferry's running. November 30th through the 3rd, five days on the island of Naxos. I'll be staying at the Naxos Magic Village Hotel. Nice. I have a seaside room. Nice. And you know how much is it per night? Then it's off to Felegandros for three days. I'm returning again this year because of its authentic charm, but also because of that bakery. And then September 3rd to the 7th, I have a tiny home that's overlooking the Sunset Cliff. Yeah. And it's closer to the bakery. That bakery, but it's that bakery with that chocolate banana croissant. But finally, I'm gonna end up back on Milos because it's an airport island, so it will allow me to reconnect with Athens. Milos is known for its stunning landscapes, unique beaches, and fascinating geology, offering a perfect blend of relaxation and exploration. And then five days, not only on the island of Milos, but back in Polonia, the fishing village, and as many times as I've been to Milos, there are still parts of the island I've never seen. 1040 flight will have me back in Athens by noon. I then fly back to Newark, arrive at 930, get a, get a room for the night at the Hampton Inn. And at 615, at 615 in the morning, I, I board JetBlue again, which will take me back home to Orlando and you. So, and that's it. The anatomy of planning my trip, my September trip to the Greek islands this year. I hope this video has inspired you to start planning your own adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and also hit the bell for notifications so you'll know when a new video drops. So thanks for watching and see you in the U-Haul next week.